to Deuteronomy. We are the Israelites, right? The reason why we know we're the Israelites is because we're in this condition, right? We're, we're supposed to be on the top, right? When you, when you read the history of the Bible, God always uses the same scenario. The people sin against God, they rebel against his word, he, he puts them into captivity, slavery happens, and then they end up on the bottom of that society after they get conquered. Right. So what happened to us? We went into slavery, we got conquered, we got assimilated with this nation, and now we're on the bottom of society. Why? Because God is true, true according to his word. When he say so, he gonna make something happen, he's gonna do it, he's not like us, like we just read, all right? Read what you got, uh, verse 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right, so look, according to that scriptures, if we as Israelites do not keep God's commandments, what's going to happen to us? Are we going to be blessed or cursed? What's the answer? Uh, uh, okay. I, I'm talking to you. Read it again. Uh, but it, it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So it shall come to pass, it's going to happen, if you Israelites do not listen, read on, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes. If you Israelites do not keep all of God's commandments, read on. That all these curses, all these what? Curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That all these curses shall come upon us as a people and overtake us. So let me ask again. Are we Israelites, right? If we break God's commandments, are we going to be blessed or cursed? According to that. If we break God's commandments, are we going to be blessed or cursed? Cursed. Yeah. Right. We're yeah. going to be cursed. Yeah, I, I hear that. Yeah, I know. I got it. That's yeah. That, that's what we just read. Right? If the Israelites break God's commandments, they are cursed. That's why we cursed out here in the city. That's why our people out here strung out. You can look behind you and see somebody strung out. That's how bad it is. Right? That's why we got to raise up as leaders according to the Bible, according to the discipline of God, and help redeem his people. Right. That's right. the love we must have for our nation. Right. Right? Read on. Uh, give me verse uh, 48. How you doing, brother? What's your name? What's your name, bro? How you doing? Jojo. Jojo? You ever heard of this before? We are here teaching the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. According to the Bible, we are chosen people. According to the Bible, we are all the Israelites, right? When you read through the scriptures and you get the history of God's people, you're really reading about yourself, right? These, these black people out here, you know, when, when we deal with our people on the streets, in, the, in our day-to-day uh, -day lives, right? The, the same people that we see every day, that's God's chosen people. And he expects you to treat them right according to this Bible. But what does that really mean? You can't just treat them right according to, you, to your own knowledge. Because we have our own opinion of what good is. Let's get good. Romans chapter 7. Right? What is good according to the Bible? Because I can have my own opinion about what good is according to my people. And, and say, hey, I, I got this dime bag. You know what I'm saying? Sell, sell you a dime bag. Right? Sell you an eight ball, right? That's that's a drug. To, do, do that mean I love my people? I don't. I don't love my people. That means I hate my people if I'm doing those things, right? But in my own personal vain opinion, that's something good, right? It was a good day when I sold that that crack rock to my sister. That's what. That's how you know we deal with each other. But God, ha right? God has a different version of good. Let's see what it is. The book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 12. Wherefore the law is holy, and the commandments holy, and just, and good. So God says, God's laws, his commandments are, are just and good. 
That's what's good according to the Bible. That's the good that we're supposed to be implementing towards our brothers and our sisters in order for us to wake out of this sleep, out of this dead estate. Give me that in Proverbs. What is that, 2116? Walketh uh, out of the way of, yes sir. We're in a dead state right now, bro. And we need you to, to help us reach our people, right? We need us, us black men, to stand up as leaders. That's your job. That's inherently your job, bro. We, The book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 16. The man that walk wandereth out of the way of the understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So the man, the Israelite man or woman that goes out of the understanding of the, of the way of understanding of, of God. Right? Read it again. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding right. shall remain in the congregation of the dead. He is dead to God. Right? right? That, that Israelite man or woman, God deemed him as dead. He's not alive. You might be breathing, right? You might be eating a feast. You might be working. Everything's cool. You might be good in health, but to the most high God, you are dead. You are spiritually dead. And it's time for us to heal ourselves. Right. Time for us to come up out of this estate. We're set here to rule this earth. We're supposed to be governing our people. Right. Disciplining our houses. You men, you're supposed to set up. You're supposed to be set up to guide your, your wives. The wives are supposed to guide the children. Right? Give me that in Titus. This order according to this Bible, man. This Bible is a book of spiritual structure. All we got to do is start implementing these things and we'll see a change in our communities. We ain't got to worry about Esau, a.k.a. the so-called white man, policing our neighborhoods. They are, right now, they're over us, right? Because that's something set up by God. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.